Hello and welcome back to my channel. So about two days ago, I showed off Moptimus Prime. This is obviously based on the mildly interesting Reddit post about the mop that looks like Optimus Prime, but I think that he needs a friend. So before I get into the next character in this universe, I want to talk about this guy. This guy's been mentioned as Ultra Mopness and because of his colors. I mentioned last time in my video that I don't have the correct filament colors. So I just chose the ones that I used for Missing Link Ultra Magnus. So inherently, he does look like Ultra Magnus. Um, but this is Moptimus Prime, okay? Just call him Moptimus Prime because I made him Moptimus Prime. Thank you. Um, let's get on with the video. Let me introduce to you, thanks to Ilbot on Twitter, Stumblebee. So this is Bumblebee as a caution sign, wet floor caution sign. So where I am now in Hong Kong, these are super common. Um, they're everywhere. There's probably like 10 in one car park. But I know in UK, there's a lot of them as well. I've seen them in hospitals. But this is um, a yellow and black sign that I think really suits Bumblebee, particularly the animated Bumblebee design. As you can see, he just stands like that. Super, super simple. I think what I'm doing with this series of toys is, you know that Perry the Platypus meme that you always see on, I don't know, our For You pages might be different, but I'll put it on here now. And it's basically just Perry the Platypus simplified into two blocks. I think this is what we're doing now. We're just seeing how far we can push this simplified transformer bit, basically. So we're just seeing how far we can simplify a transformer and still make it identifiable as the character. Again, this is Stumblebee. It doesn't do much in this mode. It closes up like that, just like a regular caution sign. And he does have some playability with Optimus Prime. Well, Moptimus, my bad. In, in the fact that when you bring him in, I've seen people do this, is you hook this caution sign to the back of the mopping truck and they could just roll out together, like so. That's your playability with it. Size comparison, there they are together. And I think they are quite in scale, I think. You might see now that there's a bit of grey poking through the yellow, and that is actually Bumblebee's face. So let's just turn this into Bumblebee. It's super simple. There's a double hinge here. Double hinge it upwards like so. Fit this tab into the back of um, quote-unquote head, and then lay it flat like that. So you can sort of, if you can manage to get him to stand in this pose, then do it. Um, but I can't. And I didn't design him to stand like this. So, um, to fold this forwards. And there you have Stumblebee. Again, as I mentioned, he is made to resemble the animated counterpart of Bumblebee. So here they are together in comparison. Um, let's put in the best Bumblebee toy from Animated as well. This is Hydra Dive Bumblebee. I think um, it was pretty smart of me not to pat my own back, but um, to make the um, the bottom of this Bumblebee's horns, to make it super recognizable as Bumblebee. And, you know, this thing is meant to resemble that. These simple shapes, hopefully you're able to make out that this is Bumblebee. I'm going to put the files out for this soon. Um, it's super easy. So you just print this all supportless. I've designed for you to print all this supportless. What you need for this project is, again, the same as Moptimus Prime, M2 screws. You don't need particularly long ones. Um, I'd say about like five centimeters long. So as long as they reach this hinge and go past this hinge, you're good. So probably like this, this much, you're good. So you need four M2 screws and you're good for this one. The sort of special part out of this is this piece where you have to print it sort of in two pieces. It's cut diagonally like this, as you can see. Um, it's cut diagonally, um, like so. There's this hinge sticking out, so you can't lie this flat against the printer bed. I had to cut this in half diagonally. I printed this whole thing in 0.2 millimeter layer height, um, except for this top part, which is 0.15 millimeters layer height. But I'm sure that if you use a resin printer or a 0.1 millimeter layer height, you're able to get much cleaner results. I raised the wordings caution and wet floor and the exclamation sign upwards for one millimeter. So I was able to just get a Sharpie and just trace along the embossed areas. I was able to get fairly clean words and that um, person slipping. Um, I love this design, but let's transform Stumblebee back into his robot mode.
Let's bring in Optimus Prime as well, and I'll transform him into his robot mode. Let's do something together now. Um, I want you to help me build a universe with these two. First off, we have to come up with a name, so right off the bat, my brain is empty. I don't know anything. Uh, the Mop Universe, let me know in the comments below. And about the good guys and the bad guys. The good guys, I think, are the cleaning crew. The bad guys, the Decepticons, would be the things that make the floor dirty, I guess. You know, we could try and have, like, coffee cups or something that spills on the floor that Optimus has to mop up, something like that. But I really want to do a traffic cone cone head and just have it sort of triple change because it's a cone, so he can sort of easily triple change into a jet and a robot as well and transform back into a traffic cone. Off the top of my head, that's what I wanted to do after this one. I'll, I'll attach an image here as well. I also recolored Moptimus Prime into Mopatron or Megatron, Mega Mop, whatever you want to call it. But that sort of defeats the purpose of the good guys being the cleaners and the bad guys being the spillers. I'll have to pick a side soon. Unicron would definitely, in my mind, be that vacuum cleaner from Teletubbies. I don't know if he's called Noon Noon or something like that, but that's Unicron in my mind. I just found a floor buffer that looks really similar to Cosmos, but I can't think of a pun to name him Cosmo Buff or something like that. That's way too big of a stretch for me to do that, so please sound off in the comments below, you know, what puns I could make a Buffer and Cosmos. I know Huffer is on the table, like, but look at this picture. This is obviously Cosmos. I, I want to do like three or four more of these because they just take a few hours to do a few, uh, and then just one hour to print for Bumblebee. So if you have any more suggestions, let me know in the comments below. I have something I'm ready to show off next week as well. I just have to put on some screws, but this is a mug that turns into a gorilla, mug gorilla. Um, I'm not going to transform him. You're going to have to tune in next week to see him. This could easily be turned into a barrel and you know, we can make something up with like Optimus Primal or something. <laughs> um, Optimus Urinal. <laughs> <laughs> something like that you know t turn this into a um you know a urinal and then urinal urinal <laughs> this has a gorilla face so optimus urinal um but like th there you know so this mop universe has loads of possibilities but let me know in the comments below what you think about the mop universe do you want to see more there's the sort of the start of the mop universe i guess if I turned this white and everything. Um, often. Um, thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos as well. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe. That's it for now. Stay safe and goodbye.